Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we have a little deck profile from Decidua Italian, which I and my brother played in the latest Table One challenge. We both managed to get top 8, I managed to get top 4, and yeah, little deck profile and following we have some of our best scenes from our games. Okay, let's get right into the deck. So yeah, it's a pretty standard Decidua Italian line. It's pretty nice in the table on format, which is a sword and shield on format, since a lot of po uh, players play Wii Pokemon like Satian, Colossal, some water variants with Lepros and Italian Wii. And so the Sidoi is always a good counter. And we play a 4-1-4 four, four line of the Sidoi. Sidoi, of course, with the ability, it blocks damage done to this Pokemon from Pokemon Wii and GX. GX doesn't matter in that way, but yeah, they can the Wii. And it deals 90 damage to the active and 20 to do bench Pokemon. The 20 snipe band, uh, damage are pretty nice against matchups like Mad Party, since they only have less HP, like 60 or 40. And so they are easy target on the bench as well, so it's possible to draw multiple prizes in one turn. And our second main Pokemon in the deck is the Intellion, which we play a 4 3 2 line 9 off. The ability of the Italian and the Twizzle is if you roll it, you can search a deck for one trainer card. With the Twizzle it's one and with the Italian it's two trainer cards. That's a pretty great aspect in the deck, so you uh, pretty quick get your Decidueye out pretty early, multiple lines of Decidueye. And also the attack of Italian is pretty nice, which deals 120 damage and 20 to 1 bench Pokemon. Especially against matchups like Satian, which play one Eevee Slash, which has resistance to grass, and so it's not easy to KO the Eevee Slash in this matchup. And the Italian helps a lot there, which is with 120 damage once. So I only need to attack twice with Decidua if he hasn't attached any tool card. And since most of the Satian decks only play. One is Eevee Slash. If you knock it out with the Italian and the help of the Decidueye, you are pretty much settled in these games. Yeah, we're playing a Snorlax line as a support, which draws seven cards, and my turn ends. Uh, it's the ability if it's in the active position. And we're also playing one Six Again to deal extra damage in the stack. From the supporter line, we play four Bird Keeper, four Mani, and two Boss. The main concept is to play the bird keepers early on to get the free attack off with the Wowlet and the ability Sky Circus, and so attack with 60 on the bench Pokemon. Pretty nice against matchups like Eek Slash, I said, so you can snipe the Eek Slash on the bench or against some water attacks to KO the Snom pretty early, so they don't get into the game and aren't able to build up anything. And if they can't build up here, they are Frost Moths, they're pretty in a disadvantage, so they only have three Pokemons or some Sweet Corn or Lapras, and they both need free energies. And if the Frost Moths go down early or the Snum, they have a big problem. You're playing four Mani as our draw supporters and two Boss. They are not necessary anymore since you have the Bird Keeper, and there are not many threats out there they can attack the Decidueye. We play 4 Quick Ball, 4 Wear Candy and 3 Evolution Incense. Um, yeah, with the Italian you can get them pretty easily out of the deck, play the Incense for the for the Twizzle or Italian, and so turn 2 the Sidua is pretty likely to get. You have the Incense and the Wear Candy to get it, the Twizzle or the Sidua and yeah. Also only one Turfield Stadium, so I only need one because I have the Twizzel, which can get me the Incense or the Turf Field. We play 4 Scoop of Nets to get our Snorlax back into our hand, or also put the Twizzel back into our hand to use the ability twice in a turn or in the next turn. From the Energy Split, we're playing 3 Capture Energies, um, 3 Aromatic Energies, and 2 Aurora, 2 Water, and 2 Grass. Capture energies are great at the beginning of the game to set up, get out some Sobble or Wowlets out of the deck. And the Aromatic Energy are pretty necessary against the Eternatus matchups, since there are a lot of Poisonous variants out there. 
And if they really get to poison us every turn, we in pretty huge disadvantage, so the Romantic Energy wins us that matchup. The Oro Energy is just to help us um, with the mix of energies, the grass and the water, and so the, uh, the Oro Energies are in there. Yeah, um, I played the tournament and I realized some changes I might m would like to make, for example a third Italian, since I had a lot of prizes, uh, I prized the Italian pretty often, and it also costed me the games once or twice, especially against decks like Cineways. Which is not the best matchup, it's okay, but with Italian you are good to go since you one shot him and if he can't uh, revenge you have a better, you are in a good position and yeah, we can, you can only attack, attack with the city one with 90 and the Italian makes a one shot and if you have multiple of them you can win the Cinderwaze matchup as well. I'm also not sure if I need a Torfield Stadium in the deck. It's okay to have, but most likely I thought the fourth incense would have done the job as well. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I hope you like it, and follow up is some gameplay from our tournament, so yeah. And if you like the video, leave a like or a comment, and also subscribe!